welcome to our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we are taking a look at the official... Um, We're looking at a tease of what's to come this year for DC Films. Titled... titled DC, The World Needs Heroes. Now, when I initially heard about this, I thought it was going to be something in the vein of... Remember what Marvel did, like, like mid-last year? Mm -hmm. With that whole Stan Lee's narrative and it showed the upcoming... Slip, which is hilarious when you look back at it now about how all those mm -hmm. films being delayed again. But, like, you look back and it was that slave... Of, the, I got the same vibes when I heard this was a thing. We were expecting it with our Super Bowl 56 commercials. Cause again, because we know Disney Plus usually... Uh, Disney Plus usually did that. Even last year when they were trying to tease, like, a lot of their stuff... Where it's like, oh, here's watch our stuff. So it's like, or this is what's to come on Disney Plus. It's like you were expecting hearing this thing. They're gonna show this at the Super Bowl. It's smart because it's showing people, hey, guess what? DC is gonna be packed up this year. Yeah, you know? it is but very it's packed like, up. Nope. So not unlike the Marvel one I was talking about, this one's focused mainly on all the DC EU films coming out this by the end of this yeah. year. Which, which, yeah, but uh, we don't know the exact count, but it's it's a type of thing where DC is now kind of keeping up with Marvel when it comes to really you know releasing you know how many they're releasing per year and say but let's just dive into this see what we're getting ourselves into this year and we can discuss each individual little thing that they brought up so again this is for DC's the world needs heroes trailer or at least segment whatever they want to call it so here we go <laughs> So I wonder if Doctor... I never brought that up, but did they confirm which Doctor Fate this is? Is this Zaytana's father, Doctor Fate? Or? They... I have to look it up. They, have, I haven't, they haven't confirmed anything. They just, they just confirmed he's playing Doctor Fate. So they do Fate give playing. us a hint that it was okay. his son that saved him from execution. Was what they what they're saying, and even of course the Grand Wizards when it saved, of course gave them the Shazam powers. Yeah, exactly. That's that that's what's going on uh, there. But, but it's cool. Hawkeye looks fucking. Um, all those Hawks looks amazing Hawkeye. as Hawkman. I'm sorry, man. I have Marvel in the brain. I got Hawkman. Yeah. Looks fucking amazing. Doctor Fate looks great. Adam Smasher looks dope. That, that the footage that they show, it's like now I can't wait to see what the fucking trailer is gonna really reveal. The Hawkman. Is just amazing. Doctor Fate with the helmet on looks and awesome. Bla and the Rock in a Black Adam suit feels like just right with the mm -hmm. world. All's right with the world. Not much from Aquaman because they're still post production. But they just um, they, they gave uh, just a hint of hey, he's wearing a stealth suit. Yeah, they um, switch out a suit for, for for majority of the new film. For I heard it's so. a standard in any type of standard um, hero film. Nothing new on the Batman. A lot of footage we've already seen. Mm -hmm, so is, that's fine. It, to me, I'm seeing here going this could have been perfect during Super Bowl to be honest because this could really could have really had people Nothing. going wait a minute they're coming out with all this this year like, like you know getting people hyped up at least like you talk from 6 o'clock 6 p.m. Eastern time onward like we almost got ruined by the Doctor Strange TV spot because of that oh yeah you know but no nothing for this we watched the entire fucking Super now, Bowl now question was this the first time we're hearing Michael Keaton as Bruce Wayne no he um in fandom yeah. it was him narrating yeah I kind of figured that because I'm hearing a lot of people are like, oh, we hear him talk. And it's like, even I'm sitting going, didn't we hear him no, he, talk? He, it, he narrated in the original teaser at Fandom. So. Yeah, but yeah, we see even the other chica uh, who's in uh, in it besides Dr. Fade and... Uh, who's she playing again? She's playing that... Uh, I forgot. I know... Uh, it's a, I forgot what her name was, pretty much. Uh, 
I gotta look it up. A Hawkeye man, a Hawk man. <laughs> you got me saying it. <laughs> it's not you. Okay. It's not uh, yeah, there, right? yeah, there's Doctor Fate, man. Look at that helmet, though. I looks like it's it. covering. It looks like it's covering the entire face. It looks. I like. think that there's probably a eye couple that slits, glow, maybe. That yeah, glow, you know, like Doctor Fate usually does. Yeah, I forgot who she's playing. I can look up, but give me your your thoughts. Yeah, and then there's oh yeah, there's Adam though. Adam Smasher, man, that's just awesome. He just grows in size there. That's Sarah Shy. Um. But and hey, hey let's talk about even even the quick shots for the fl- a couple quick shots for uh, Maxine Hunkel. Okay, uh, for Flash, pretty much. Uh, where we see him pretty much, and he's got the isolates. He's got the little like you know a little cyclone. Yeah, yeah cyclone. cyclone. There we go. Yes. Uh, but yeah, you know, he has the the little slits that come down to cover his eyes. That's that's a cool cool little shot. You know, showing another new feature to his suit. Actually, the granddaughter of the original Red Tornado. Yeah, I know that. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it looks dope. Um, I love the new Black Adam footage. Flash, we did it. Flash as well. We really we had a couple. That's why I said we maybe had a couple shots. Shots like him putting on the vi- the eye visors, which was cool and stuff. But like that, that was really it for now. I think the the main yeah, so yeah, the main the main thing I think I can't, can't that comes out of this just is the Black Adam footage because everybody wants to see the freaking trailer. Everybody wants to see that first trailer drop, you know, and to see how it's all coming together. Um, but that's just yeah, we've seen previews of the Justice Society pretty much all together. You know, in a way, working together at this point with a flying ship and everything. Yeah, um, but uh, looking dope overall. And um, twenty twenty two is going to be stacked for for uh, DC because I'm sure they didn't really show even the the animated one, even though that's supposed to be coming straight to theaters as well, if I'm correct. Because uh, that's supposed to be the ne- another one. This is the, this is the year DC's really trying the redemption arc. They are on a roll. Yeah, trying. Then they hit a wall called Wonder Woman 1984. So yeah, and um, like I said, it's uh, like I said, it's cool because even somebody brought up going. I think I, was, I think how many was I think we're getting three or four. I, mean, I think three different Batmans within this one year. Three or four, you know. And because we got you know confirmed Ben Affleck, we got Robert Pattinson, we got like I said the animated one uh, overall, and then we got Michael. Keen. So that's pretty much we have four Batman. And then Batman I think the only one do you see one confirmed for next year is uh, Shazam too. Yeah, that one. Yeah, there. I believe that one. They're in post production as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. They they really like they that. Like, like they, they've already finished production. Uh, Marvel side thing. They already finished production. Ant Man three. You know. They already wrapped that shit up. So but, it's yeah, like, but it's like the type of thing. It's like you understand why they're gonna take this long post production of all the effects and graphics they have to put in. That and they're covering their base. So, like, if they have to do reshoots, it'd be careful reshoots because, you know, the pandemic's still a thing right now. Well, they've so, already done all their reshoots. They've already well, done all their reshoots. I'm just saying they've already done all for both the films. I understand why sometimes just, it takes them forever in the post production. I'm saying some movies that do that in general right now. I'm not just talking about the ones we're, we're talking about here. I'm we're talking about post production, though. I, I know. No, never mind. So, anyways, um, yeah, um, that's it for that. I mean, it looks pretty dope overall, and I know he's excited. So, um, other than that, if you need a channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about DC stuff, or just talk to him about it, uh, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon as well. What you got? It was. Let us know what you guys' thoughts are on this. Uh, DC's uh, little mini slate of what to expect in 2022. What are you guys excited for this year for DC? Is it any of the you know, films they mentioned here or any of the animated stuff that they're working on? Uh, whether it's the, the, the Super Pets, you know, whether it's the Super Pets or even maybe something else that they're they're working on any uh, any of the, the smaller DC animated films. Pretty much that, that usually comes through straight to streaming or anything like that. I mean, do you guys have any top favorites that it's just you can't wait for? Besides the Batman, because that's the one that's still on my high on the list right now but you know any other ones are you definitely waiting and excited to see that first full trailer but also get to see black adam fully and it just in full glory just to see what's going to happen what's going to go down i mean any big anticipation ones or are you guys all waiting for that flash movie you know because it feels like if they do it right flash can be just another kind of 
Spider-Man No Way Home type of situation. Who knows? Uh, but let us know what you guys' thoughts are on this, but also your anticipations for this year for DC in general. Uh, put down to that of our reaction overall, but most importantly, we thank you for watching. And of course, you can check out all of our DC SRB TV reactions right here on the channel. That includes Titans, Harley Quinn, and the current last couple seasons of Young Justice. But until next time, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And this has been a very hero-filled episode of SRB. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out any of our previous reactions, as well as one of our other SRB shows, check out one of the playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and start us at Super React Bros. As well as on Facebook at Super Reaction Bros.